Oh my gosh. It's us. How exciting. <laughs> we look very good on camera, don't we? Right, what are we going to talk I look, about? Yes, <laughs> I look good on camera, don't we? Oh, I said we look good no, on I'm camera. Joking. I'm joking. Oh my goodness me. I'm joking. <laughs> Hello, I'm Mama G, and I'm here with one of my very, very favourite people who I've done pantomime with many, many times, and that's 90s pop sensation <laughs> Lolly. Hi. You love that moniker, don't you, being called a 90s pop sensation? I know, and it's bizarre because when I released Lolly, it was 99, 2000, so it wasn't really 90s. So actually, you're a, you're a naughty pop star. I'm a naughty pop star. That's even better, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. I can't <laughs> wait. Now, one of the reasons I wanted to come and speak with uh, Lolly, a.k.a. Anna Cumblay, is because I believe in people being who they are and loving who they want. And I know that Anna's music is exactly the same. And last year she released an amazing song called... Stay Young and Beautiful. Which I became so obsessed with. <laughs> I just listened to it many, many times in the shower, which was a bit weird, but I had very long <laughs> showers. Um, and I, Anna agrees with me on what, everything I do. Oh, of course. Uh, well, on the ethos at least, so I wanted mm -hmm. to uh, get Anna's experience of me and believing in yourself and loving who you want. Absolutely, well, the, well sort of the, the reason behind Stay Young and Beautiful, I'll, st I'll start on that one, is um, I've got a daughter who at the time was 11 years old and um, I was noticing that she was very aware of, due to social media, of how you should be, eyebrows, who you should look like and there was a lot of pressure, or there is a lot of pressure, mm -hmm. not there was a lot of pressure. And I'm just like, you're 11 years old, just be who you are, whoever you are, just stay young and beautiful, just inside. It's not about, uh, it's it just remain integral to yourself. Don't try and be anybody else but you. Sometimes it's a part to find out who are we? And actually, if you just ignore all that and just be, just carry on. Don't think too hard. Just naturally just go with it. I think that's amazing. That was pretty much everything I would have said. <laughs> um, because I, one of the reasons I like to tell stories about being who you are and loving mm -hmm. who you want is because anything you want to be is absolutely fine and it's absolutely yeah. fabulous. Um, so I'm doing a show next week at the Lion and Unicorn Theatre. It's called mm -hmm. Mamaji Storytime Road Trip because what I like to do, and I don't think you've seen me do it yet, no. is I like to go around the country telling children and their family stories uh -huh. about being who you are and loving who you want. And have you written these yourself? In the show, they're all oh. written by me. And You're so clever. Well, I try. <laughs> uh, they're about stories about a horse that feels it's been born into the wrong body and wants to become a unicorn. Um, so what happens? Well, oh, do I have to come and watch? Well, of course you have to come and watch. <laughs> no spoilers. But what happens is uh, Eunice the horse is very uncomfortable being a horse. She, mm -hmm. knows, she knows she's not a horse, even though she's got horse parents. And one day her friend Hortense the horse, which is a good name for a horse, Hortense, um, yeah, Hortense the horse, she says, go and find who you're supposed to be. So they go around the farm, and they meet lots of other animals, and they have a lovely time with them. But Eunice knows deep down that none of these animals are what she is, truthfully. Uh, and then she has a dream and she realizes that what she should become is a unicorn and then they go around the farm trying to make her a unicorn and at the end of the day she's very happy oh what beautiful story it is and i love telling it and i tell that story with puppets we should say <laughs> goodbye bye